two point charges are separated by twenty five centimeter. Find the net electric field these charges produce at point A and point B. Part C is what would be the magnitude and direction of the electric force this combination of charges would produce on a proton at A. Draw the figure. Let us consider one charge is the minus. This is the one charge minus six point two five nano coulomb, and another charge is the another charge is the minus twelve point five nano coulomb. The distance between the two charges is the the distance between the two charges is the twenty five centimeters. The two charges is the Twenty five centimeters. First of all, consider the point A. This is the point A. The point A is the. This is the point A. The distance from the point A to minus twelve micro coulomb, twelve point five micro coulomb is the ten centimeters. This is the ten centimeters. So. First of all, we can draw the electric field lines. First of all, we can draw the electric field lines. The charge. Let us take. Let us take charge Q one is equal to minus six point two five nano coulomb. That is equal to one nano coulomb is equal to ten to the power of minus nine coulombs. So minus six point two five into ten to the power of minus nine coulombs. And another one is the charge Q two. Charge Q two is equal to minus twelve point five nano coulomb. That is equal to minus twelve point five into ten to the power of minus nine coulomb. The distance between the two charges is the d is equal to twenty five centimeters. One centimeter is equal to ten to the power of minus two meters. So the distance between the two charges is the zero point two five meters. Consider the point A. This is the point A. First of all, part A. Consider the part A. Part A means. The electric field at a point A due to the two charges. Part A is the the consider the electric field at a point A due to the two charges. So this is the part part point A. The point A is the the distance between the minus twelve point five nine nano coulomb charge to point A is the ten centimeters. So the distance between the Minus minus six point two five nano coulomb to point charge is the twenty five minus ten that is equal to fifteen centimeters. This is the fifteen centimeters. The distance between the minus six point two five nano coulomb to point charge point A. So we can calculate the the electric field at a point A. Draw the electric field diagram. My, the charge is the minus six point two five nano coulomb charge. So this is the Q one. The direction of the field along the negative charge. So this is the E one. That the direction of the electric field at a point A due to the minus six point two five nano coulomb charge is the towards the negative because the charge is the negative. So the negative charge always towards the Towards it, and the charge, uh, the direction of the electric field due to the minus twelve point five nano coulomb charge is the this direction. This is the E two. This is the E two. The direction towards the right because the charge is the negative. The electric field always towards the negative charge direction. So 
the direction is the right side due to the minus 12.5 non of coulomb charge so the electric field at a point a is ea the electric field at a point a ea is equal to e1 plus e2 e1 plus e2 ea is equal to e1 e1 is the charge due the electric field due to minus 6.25 nano coulomb charge so the direction towards the ne left side are negative taken the negative minus k q1 by r 1 a square and plus the electric field due to charge q2 charge q2 means minus 12.5 nano coulomb so the direction towards the right side taken the positive so plus k q2 by r2 a whole square so the direction is the right side the electric field a is equal to taking the k common q2 by r to a whole square minus q1 by r1 a whole square this is the electric field at a point a due to the two charges so a is equal to the value of the k is 9 into 10 to the power of 9 newton meter square by coulomb square into q2 q2 is the the magnitude of the charge 12.5 into 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb whole by the distance r to a r to a is the 10 centimeters or 0 0.1 meter whole square minus the charge q q1 is the the magnitude of the q1 so 6.25 into 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb whole by the distance between the charge q1 to point a is the 15 centimeters so 0 0.15 meter whole square this is the electric field at a point a due to two charges ea is equal to the value of the ea is equal to 8750 newton per coulomb this is the electric field at a point a due to the two charges the electric field at a point due to the two charges and the direction towards the right the direction towards the right to the right because the electric field is positive so the direction towards the right and consider the part b and consider the part b the direct the diagram the diagram of the part b this is the charge one and this is the another charge and this is the point draw the another diagram this is the q2 charge this is the minus 12.5 nano coulomb and this is the another charge q1 the value is the minus 6.25 nano coulomb and this is the point b this is the point b the distance between the point b to charge q1 q1 means minus 6.25 nano coulomb charge is the 10 centimeters this is the 10 centimeters and the distance between the minus 6.25 nano coulomb to, to minus 
5 nano coulomb charge is the 25 centimeters. This is the distance between the two charges is the 25 centimeters and the distance between the point B2 minus 6.25 nano coulomb charge is the 10 centimeters. So, this is the the distance between the point B2 minus 6.0 nano coulomb charge is the R 1 B is equal to 10 centimeters that is equal to 0 0.1 meters and the distance between the point B2 minus 12.5 nano coulomb charge is the 35 centimeters because this one is the 10 and this one is the 25 both are the add. So, R 2 B is equal to 35 centimeters that is equal to 0 0.35 meters. This is the distance between the point B2 minus 12.5 nano coulomb charge. So, draw the electric field direction field diagram the electric field at we can calculate the electric field at a point b so the electric field due to the minus 6.25 nano coulomb charge is the this direction this is the e1 e1 taken the towards the right because the charge is the negative so the field always towards the negative charge so, this is the E1 and the electric field due to the minus 12.5 nano coulomb charge at a point B is the direction towards the right. This is the E2 towards the right because the charge is the negative. So, the direction of the field always towards the negative charge direction. So, the electric field at a point B is EB. EB is equal to E1 plus E2, E1 plus E2, EB is equal to E1 is the K Q1 by R1B square. So, taken the positive, the direction towards the right, so taken the positive and another one is the taken the positive because the direction towards the right. So, the other one is the, the electric field due to the minus 12.5 nano coulomb charge is the E2. E2 is the K Q2 by R2B whole square. So, the electric field at a point B due to the two charges is the EB. EB is equal to taking the K value K common q1 by r1b square plus q2 by r2b square. So, the electric field Eb is equal to 9 into 10 to the power of 9 Newton meter square by Coulomb square. This is the value of the k into the charge q1 is the, the magnitude of the charge 6.25 into 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb whole by where the distance is r1b r1b is the 10 centimeters or 0 0.1 meter whole square plus the charge q2 qt is the, the magnitude of the 12.5 nano coulomb that is equal 12.5 into 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb whole by the value is the th the distance between the B2 12.5 nano coulomb charge is the 35 centimeters so 0 0.35 meter whole square this is the electric field at a point E B E B is equal to the value of the electric field E B is equal to 6 5 4 3 newton per coulomb this is the electric field at a point B due to the minus 6.25 nano coulomb and minus 12.5 nano coulomb and consider the part B the part consider the part C the part C is the 
the electric force at a point A due to the proton. So the electric field at a point A, the charge of the proton Q is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 Coulomb. So the electric force at a point A is the the force F A is equal to the charge Q into the electric field at a point A. This is the force F A is equal to Q into E A. So the force at a point A F A is equal to the charge Q is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 Coulomb into E A. E A is the electric field due to the two charges at a point A. So E A is equal to E A is equal to 8 7 5 0 Newton per Coulomb. So the electrostatic force at a point A due to the proton F A is equal to 1.40 into 10 to the power of minus 15 Newton. So this is the electric field electrostatic force at a point A due to the proton and the direction of the proton the direction of the force is towards the right to the right because the charge is the positive and the electric field direction to the right the electric field direction to the right so the direction of the force to the right